Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Remnant from the Ashes. Okay, so let's continue where we left off here. We're gonna open the shortcut door here. And head all the way straight down. We're in a new... Um... I think we're the, this is a new area? Or right, maybe not. I have to go the other way. Hold up, I think I have to make a turn. This, this was a shortcut that we can go... I think back to the junkyard. So we want to go this way. This isn't looking good. All right, so I'm probably gonna skip all these guys here and just get straight to the next dungeon. So let me pull up the map. So we're gonna have to go all the way to the top right corner. All right, shouldn't be too bad. Thank you. Okay, later guys. <laughs> Suckers. Alright, let's head all the way up here. Oh, Archer Boy's back. Miss me. Okay, we're almost there. Just gonna watch I don't die. Mm, it looks like I can make my way around. I think. Yeah, right down here. This should be the way to go. Oh! Get away, guys! Ha! <laughs> you hit your own friend. Nice. Good job. Awesome! These guys are just killing each other. Let's go this way. Oh fuck, no! Oh my god. Okay, there should be a checkpoint. Usually there's a checkpoint in like every new area, so... Hey, look at that. Checkpoint. Nice. Okay, so let's start doing this now. This part's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but that's fine. There they are. You can see them right on the ceiling. So, you can get a head start on them by rifling. Shit. These guys are a little bit more tankier, these ones here. And these guys are easy. Oh wait, what? Oh, they're not stumbling no more. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful around this area. Because they're not uh, stumbling from my axe anymore. And the headshots aren't really stumbling either. So, it's gonna be a little bit more trickier. And this guy is burning, so if you shoot him, he's gonna catch on fire. Oh boy. Oh wait, I fucked up. I totally fucked up. Okay, that's. Oh nice, got them all on fire. That was good. Let me uh, use this. No! Okay, back to burning asshole again. I gotta be careful how I use my... How I use my, um... 
my mark of the uh, enemies mod because that takes a little while to power up and it got me killed on my on that first fight there so just need to be careful how I use it takes a little while to activate and to power up as well can you fucking die dude? holy shit Man, I think that thing burning just gives more power. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. So I have a fire mod on right now with my assault rifle and I'm about to use mark of the enemies right now. Okay, let's get these guys. Remember to hit them at the tip of the head because that's the critical part. The t very tip. So like right up here. Like right there. See how that's the critical? Every time. It's a critical every time if you uh, Hit them at the very tip of the head. And just like that, you're dead. Three shots with um with criticals. Four ammo left. Shit, that's not good. Let's see what I can do with this guy here. God damn it. Okay, so I just cleared out some of these guys, and I should leave the uh, beast guy by himself or with maybe one or two monsters. So this should be a lot easier now. Once I see them, I'm gonna mark the enemies first. Okay, there's two up there, and where's the beast? Oh shit. What the fuck? I thought I killed all these guys already. Oh, this is not good. This asshole summoning anymore? Okay, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I am getting the fuck out of here. I hate that fucking mirror guy. I'm gonna try and rush it out of here. It's uh, too uh, risky to fight them all with all this. I have like no ammo. Okay, so make a way down here. I think I, I should be able to rush it just fine. As long as I play smart. Should be able to at least make it to the next checkpoint without a problem. As long as I can get that checkpoint, then I'll be all good. Oh fuck. Not good. Oh shit. No! God damn it. Okay, I'm back here again. 
Let's see if I can make it this time without getting hit. I'm trying to look for the nearest checkpoint. Oh my god, I have no idea where it is. I think it might be this way. All the way down here. This way. There it is! Found it. Awesome. Alright, so now if I die, at least I spawn here. Per wait, oh shit. I can't do it yet. Oh boy. Fuck. This is not good. I gotta kill all these guys first. Oh, that fucked me up. I thought there was a guy coming at me. But it was just a dead body flying at me. Okay, here we go. Can I use my checkpoint now? Yes, I can. Should I use it or should I keep exploring first? Well... <gasps> no! <laughs> that is... Oh my god. Okay, well... <laughs> Good news is um, I didn't have to touch the checkpoint to uh, sp to spawn here. It automatically spawned me here. Okay, well, it doesn't really look like I missed anything, so I'm just going to head back down here now and continue. I'll try this way first. There's also a way I think there's... Let me just see if there's an item here. Actually, because this is a dead end. So there might be an item. Oh no wait! This is the way to go, I think. There's two ways. Ah, okay, so this is an item. This is a trait. Tomb of Knowledge. And this brings us right up here. Hmm, so there's two ways to go then. Or maybe they both lead to the same location. That's probably it. What's down here then? Oh, is ah, they do lead to the same. Okay, I see what I see what happened now. All right. So we got a free trait. I'm gonna put two mod power for now, and we're gonna move up here. Try and ditch these guys. up up here and there's an item up here so I want to get this really quick and that's ring of evasion which slightly increases the uh, iframe window so when you dodge your iframes are a little bit better okay, I gotta be careful here oh my oh my come on dude Flip over it! Oh my god, why wouldn't you not do that before? Oh my god. Okay, I'm back here again. Well, I'm a little bit before it. I'm gonna grab this. Dodge all these guys. Now, make sure you dodge over this. There you go. You finally did it without a problem. Okay, let's go this way. We should be coming up to the end of this subway soon. And then there's gonna, there's gonna be a boss fight. So I'm gonna use a dragon heart here really quick. Let's go through here. Make a little dodge just in case. And then I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go like this. Do that. A little bit of that. And get the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh my god. Almost got me. I heard that coming. I heard it swinging all the way in the air. That's how I knew it was coming right at me. Gotcha, bitch! I ain't going for the scraps, no way. I need to find the next checkpoint. Oh, this way it was faster, I think, to get up here. 
Nice. How big is this freaking subway? I don't remember it being so big. It's stuck. Guess you can't get up that garbage pile there. But... Well, we're at the end here now. This should be the boss fight to once. There should be a checkpoint and a boss fight. I'm just gonna get my mod power up a little bit. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, is that it? Wait a minute. Where are we? Oh yeah, we're outside it. So there should be a checkpoint somewhere. Right up here. Ah, this is the church boss fight, right? Okay, I know what this is. This is where we can get the sniper rifle. Which is gonna be uh, my main weapon until I can get the crossbow. Because I'm gonna need a strong weapon and the sniper rifle is gonna be one of the strongest weapons. So let's go see what we can do here. I'm trying to debate if I should take market enemies off for healing, but maybe not. All right, so we're gonna talk to this guy and we have to protect her. We have to make sure she doesn't die. So, well, you protect. I will protect you, do what you have to do. All right, let's do this. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 I'm trying. Shut up. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that just yet. I don't know why I used it. I'm so dumb. Out my way, out my way. Give me a long gun ammo, please. You fight on, bitch. Oh, come on. Okay, so I went back to town so I can buy this uh, mod here from, that we got from killing the first boss. Okay, guys, so make sure you put Radaway on the rifle, buy ammo boxes, ammo boxes in town, and you're gonna have to spam Rattleweed, so you're gonna have, so you're, you're, you're gonna need ammo boxes in case you run out of ammo, because that's the key to uh, getting Rattleweed is a rifle. Also, go for critical hits so your mod power goes up faster. With this outfit on. It has to be this outfit though. But uh, critical hits do more damage, so it's best to go for them anyway. Okay, I'm gonna have to start spamming Rattleweed short right now. They take a while to notice it sometimes, so... You just have to be wary for that. I think there's two archers right now, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna have to use ammo right now. She's a liar. No! Notice the tree, please! Yes, we're going for the tree! We did it! Yes! Rattleweed.
Oh, we got it. Oh my god, we got it. Thank you, Radoid. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Can you unlock it already? I first look there, find the path. I know. Thank you. Okay. Range of damage reduction, I don't want that. Do I want? I want this mod power generation 25%. Mod power is going to be the key here for nightmare mode. Clearly, you're going to need lots of it. And you're definitely going to want my outfit. Like I said, mod power on crits, 50%. So, every time you hit a critical, you're getting more mod power. You're getting 50% more mod power. Not only that, but critical hits do also do more damage, so you're, you're going to be. You want to be doing critical hits anyway, so we'll get this ammo box, blood belt, and we're gonna grab this sniper rifle right here. I'm gonna upgrade that baby because I'm gonna need it for um, the harder uh, enemies coming up in Act Two. All right, so wow, I'm gonna have to switch out. The, um, I don't know actually. Keeping this for now. Alright, okay, I'm gonna have to go to town and upgrade this sniper rifle because I think I'm gonna start using the sniper rifle now. 132 damage. And do I want to stick with Rattle Lead? Probably. Or maybe I'll go with this. For now. And Or actually I can still do Rattle Lead, but yeah, I'll do Rattle Lead on my pistol for now, I guess. I'll try that. We'll go with this setup for now. Okay, so got the sniper rifle, got scraps and ammo. Let's go this way and let's, let's get out of here now and move on to the next area. So that's it's gonna be right up here. That boss fight was really hard because if she dies, you die. So the key was to keep casting Rattleweed over and over to lure the enemies to attack the Rattleweed instead of her. Not only that, but it also avoids attacking us as well, so... Okay, I need this, I need to rest up. And I need to go to town and see if I can upgrade my sniper rifle. Alright, so we can upgrade this baby. It's already, it starts off at plus two already, so that's nice. So we get plus three, plus four, and plus five. 165 so damage. Ain't too shabby. And pretty soon we're gonna get the Magnum. So I'm gonna end this walkthrough right here, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.